All right, and we're back. And we have uh, two, three, two, zero, three, B. Rate my mech. A couple of questions. Should we make this six motor drivetrain? Where do I put the, This is definitely a yes already. You know, I don't even need to look at the robot. That's always a yes. Uh, where, where, unless you're only going for skills, right? But yeah, where should I put the two air tanks? Okay, probably like uh, down where your cog could be better. It's not final yet. I need some modification. I need some modifications. Anything helps? All right, let's start. Well, mm -hmm. One thing I would ask is, do you need two air tanks? Because I don't think unless you're doing like a personalized lift. I don't think you need. Well, they are doing a piston ice lift. We can see that. Oh uh, well. You well, you probably okay. do then. There we go. There we go. <laughs> well, you probably should instead of a piston ice lift, probably do a motorized one, right? Because I feel like you can totally run, you know, one motor intake. Oh no, no, they're running a. Oh no, sorry, point five point five watt. Doing... Yeah, they're doing like an echo. Uh, yeah, echo yeah, one? yeah, and no, it's. I think it's more extra P. I think it's extra P. Yeah, because echoes reveal wasn't out yet. Yeah. So, I mean, I'd totally run a uh, 5.5 watt front intake, 5.5 watt uh, the wall stake, right? And then a motorized lift, right? For 11 watt. I think that could be, you know, one of the best options with this type of design, right? You know, cutting weight down and also the you know, motors just perform so much more consistently than pistons because you're going to run out of air and you really don't know what's going to on, what's going to happen. Bam, bam. That's kind of shaking a lot though, don't you think? Yeah, well, I think it has to do with him holding it. Yeah, and also because I don't think... Okay, the thing is, is this the maximum height that it could be at? Because cause you want to tune it where the maximum height that that it's at is the height where it scores. Right? Otherwise, if it goes higher, then you're not going to score. Well, since it is pistonized, then it's the, the hard stop of the piston will just yeah. keep it at that height. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's, this is not the maximum height, though, because you can see it going... Uh, it definitely know. isn't. Yeah, so I, I would tune it a little bit more to make sure that's the maximum height. And then I, I would also even rubber band it upwards, right? I'd passive band it upwards. That's, I think it's, that's exactly what they're going to do, be, do, be doing here, right? So they're doing a good job with that. No, I, I, I like this quite, quite a lot here. I would, though. You're testing a lot of things without air and with your hand. I think in order to make it more consistent, you should be testing it with air. Like, even if you don't have it all wired up, you can still just connect it to an air tank. Yep. And then tube it up just to test it. Make sure it all works with air. Also, five wide. There's no reason yeah. of using this. Use a, a C channel instead. Also, and uh, don't. Pretty much, if you if you like don't have a choice, you can do these type of bracing. But never like if you have a choice, always go make it go across the whole drive train. Otherwise, you're gonna have your you know your, your drive train be slant uh, slanted. Right? It's gonna uh, cave in on the inside, and then the outside is or is gonna be you know higher. So I definitely would not recommend only having it between these two. Because a lot of new teams I see are doing this where it's only between the, the inner sides of the C channels, right? The inner C channels on the drive, I definitely do it across the whole thing. Yes. Yeah, because right now it's not technically connected, right? Let's say you don't have this piece, this outside and the inside is technically not not really supported. So it's gonna bend yeah. in. You know, they I'm gonna really give- have one cross beam and it's like towards the front of the room. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a C tier. I think you can definitely have a lot of improvements, right? To make this even you know, a B or A tier. And next up, we have Baker. We have two ring. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get uh, copyrighted here. Hold up, let me mute my desktop audio. Uh, Liam would not be talking for this one. All right, so <laughs> this. Please, please, he's screaming in the background. I can't really hear. All right. So, oh, actually, I could just do this. I muted myself or deafened myself. All right. So for this one. Uh, now, I've been definitely thinking of how to do a two-ring Lady Brown, and this seems to be a really, really easy and just ingenious design because, you know, it's basically just combining two Lady Brown mics into one, right? Lady Brown mic is where you have one friction hold, and here is they just have two friction holds. You can see there's there's two different, uh, like, two different little holders. Hold up. All right, I'm back. And, no. yeah. Am I unmuted? Yeah, I, I just, uh, I'm not going to play any more of the video, so we're good. No more, no more, uh, no more copyright strikes. Oh yeah. Uh, the only thing, I mean, Baker says this one wasn't consistent, so they made it one ring. So it it may work with more tuning, uh, maybe adding more mesh to keep the ring in. But yeah, so I think far, it definitely I will work. Really consistent. Uh, oh, I've seen uh, one from China. We we will watch that match later. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. But I mean, I don't really think it's necessary in tournament. It is only, it is definitely going to be really useful in, you know, skills, but yeah, yeah. it's, I don't know. I don't really know how much you can really get with a lady, with a, like a lady brown bot for skills though. I think uh, what's going to beat that is going to be bots like Echo's bot, right? Really that's designed for skills. I'm going to give this an S tier though, because this is pretty ingenious. Yes. Robot in 24 hours. Yes. I know the battery placement is whack. Okay. Where is the battery? Yeah. Where is the battery? Oh, it's right here. Oh, uh, well, at least it's not held in by, like, I don't know. Something clips? Crazy, like, clips. <laughs> like, clips, yeah. Um, oh, I, mean, I think it's a I really... I don't anything inherently wrong. Yeah, it's a nice uh, robot in 24 hours. It, and it says it's right here, just to make sure everyone knows. Just so everyone knows. At the competition, if you lose to this, just know that you put I in, mean, like, 20 more times in, uh, hours than they did. You could... The only thing I really see, it, you might be adding wall stakes, though, if you are, then ignore it. But the C channels in the back, it doesn't look like the top of it's connecting to anything, so there's not really a point in having that extra length of C channel. Oh, so like what? You would cut it, cut it yeah. down a little bit, unless they're yeah, if they're not doing if they're not doing wall stakes. Yeah. 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 But yeah. if you are, then they're probably connecting like a gear or something to it. Yeah. Pretty clean. Yeah. I'm giving this a B tier. And moving on, 197B. Did they rebuild? I, th I swear I saw that number before. I think that was the two very clean robots. I mean, this is, uh, they what, they built Lady Brown. I swear they were Lady Brown before. Maybe I'm remember. just, yeah, maybe I'm just like on schizo. some, yeah, schizo or something. But, you know, I like the, oh, wow, there's so many zip ties here, you know, I've seen so I've seen a lot of teams do the zip tie bearing tech, right? I definitely suggest people who are looking to min max your robots, right, and reducing weight to do this. But I have not seen anybody use use a zip tie <laughs> wheel tech. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just looks like a standard lady brown. Oh. Well, yeah. That's but it. yeah, you see, you see the the wheels though. Like they're, I think the wheels are are zip tied to the gears yeah i so i feel like yeah. what if they i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't like assume that they'll snap right but i will say that i think that will take up more space like hor uh horizontally because there is a zip tie has like that bigger section i don't know i just don't think it's that deep i don't think vex is that deep i don't think you need to do that Yeah. Also, do you know what that uh, piston's for? Is that for a, a ratchet that for for hang? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean that's pretty nice. I think that's definitely a reasonable addition. I think we could possibly learn from this as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty nice. I think. I mean, it just looks so light. I definitely think it's can't go wrong with a with an A tier. One more thing is, uh, that battery placement is that really? What do you think? Is that really, really, really good? Or like? Well, I think it's... It looks like a cut slide out. Well, um... Yeah, it could... It, it might run the risk of sliding out sideways. Like, maybe if you just had something small, like... Something that could pivot over it just to lock it in. Yeah. Just to make it just a little bit more secure. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we ran it, and it was kind of similar, but it, like, slid into our bot and then went behind. There were, like, the C channels sticking upwards, and it went, like, kind of in there yeah and that never fell out but so if you could add something there then you're just 100 percent not gonna have it fall yeah also two air tanks i don't think you, you need that especially since you have uh motorized you, everything yeah yeah you just have like we have we have pissed nice cage and we still only run one tank yep all right and that's it for today